The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by BTC, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, First Caribbean Bank, John's Department Store, J.S. Johnson, Joker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Tropical Gyros. Talking Heads, Garden Radio 96.9 FM. The Tuesday, January 24th edition is on and popping. Your boy Naughty and Company right up until 6 p.m., don't forget, it is the uh, Tuesday edition, so it is the Freeport Report. We will be chiming in uh, with Ground Bahama in short order. Mr. Producer, look out for Sarah and the crew from Ground Bahama. They should be there shortly, uh, them a- as soon as we can. Um, but yeah, happy Tuesday, everybody. And uh, I want to make sure your mind's in the right place before we get into the convo today. So you know how to chime in, 323-6232, 323-6232. 325 325-4316, 325-4316, 325-4259. Phone lines are open. But today is Tuesday, so the only way you can answer the text and win your prize is to text in. So you can call me to comment on whatever you want, but if you want to win, it's on the text lines, powered by BTC, 422-GR96, that's 422-4796. So the only way you can win is on the text line today, all right? Sorry, on the phone line today, not the text line. Only way you've been today is on the phone line, not on the text line. So text away and the phone line. Hey, thank you, Mr. Producer, for the heads up. I had it, I had it backwards. Yeah. It's like cowboy oh, cut skin, boy, I tell you. So yeah, only way to chime in today is on the phone line. 323-6232-325-4316-325-4259. Text away all you want. Only way to win on the phone lines. All right. Stream us live. Take us wherever you want to go. GuardianTalkRadio.com. Radio.com. Cable channel 969. BTC Flow channel 612. That's how you get it in. That's how you get it on. And we're playing for Jokers Wild Party Passes. Some of those great uh, genius menu $5 Phillips from uh, KFC. You got lunch at the your trays from Naughty Johnny's. And you got that cool hookup from Dunkin' Donuts. All right? So you got uh, four big prizes you're playing for today. Only way you can answer is on the phone lines. So don't text me. Call your answers in. All right, here's what we're working with. Wow, that's interesting. A couple of good ones I could catch you up with today, you know. Okay, okay, okay. (laughs) Ha ha, that's a good one. Recent survey of 100 Bahamian business professionals, 50 men, 50 women, survey revealed that 48% who have been using Zoom or video conferencing, you know, as, as the day, that's the new order of the day, and people are still doing great business by it. But recently, survey revealed that 48% or 40 out of 100 have been embarrassed by doing this during one of the uh, video conferences. What is it? That's your mind-bending brain teaser. You got between now and the news and the top of the 5 o'clock hour to get your answers in. And the only way you can get your answers in today, via the phone lines. 323-6232, 325-4316, Go. Look at these texts. This is where I get to ignore the day coming. Why, why people so, why people so, so, see, y'all can, y'all can put all these answers in, you know. Not going to happen. All right, but y'all, wow, y'all had to get, okay, anyway, let's jump on into the headliners. All brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. Who are what's making headlines in the 242? And don't forget, new arrivals in stock, both locations. Check them out online, finethreads.com, or pop on in, Top of the Hill, Mackey Street, or the Southwest Shopping Plaza location. Both those locations open for you Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right. And here's what's basing up the pages of the Nassau Garden News and Views of Madison's 1844. Legal wrangling on citizenship. Privy Council set to rule on constitutional provisions. Story by Candia Dames, executive editor. Listen, um, listen to this quote. Well, first of all, a British lawyer representing the Attorney General of the Bahamas has argued before the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council that the Bahamian Constitution provides no automatic right to citizenship for children born in the country to Bahamian fathers, not married to the children's foreign mothers. But another King's Council contended that the now 
Chief Justice Sir Ian Winder got it right when he determined otherwise in a 2020 landmark ruling. The final appeal for the Court of the Bahamas is now uh, the final appeal. Oh, sorry, the final appellate court for the Bahamas is now left to answer a key question. Does the Constitution of the Bahamas confer citizenship at birth on a person born in the Bahamas who is the child of an unmarried woman who is not a citizen of the Bahamas? So the plot thickens. So my thing is, this is all the way across the Privy Council, across the pond is the Privy Council. My goodness. We couldn't get that right here? I mean, I wish Bahamian judiciary would decide my fate on this, since they know more about it. But nonetheless, keep an eye on it. But Thomas wrote, what, whatever may be the position now when the Constitution was made in 1970, the assumption that a reference to parents in a legal instrument concerning nationality was a reference to mother or father is married to the mother. Thomas Rowe, King's Counsel. So this can be known. This can be known. But I want to see how this plays out. Oh, boy. You know? We'll see how it plays out. I'm just looking at, at the two involved, and I'm thinking, wow. Do you ever really care about us, though? Do you ever really know what's going on over here like that? Anyhow, moving on. Man charged with infant's death, story by Artesia Davis. A 29-year-old man accused of killing a three-month-old girl was yesterday remanded to prison. Kirkwood Elliott Thompson of Garden Hills appeared before Magistrate Algin and Allen Jr. charged with manslaughter in relation to the January 16th death of Tanisha Tanya Milford. Prosecutors say the baby's mother left Tanisha in Thompson's care when she went to work. During this period, the infant allegedly became unresponsive and was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Police arrested Thompson on suspicion of homicide after doctors reported observed injuries to the child's face. Thompson, who is represented by Rizard Humes, did, uh, didn't have to enter a plea to the manslaughter charge at his first uh, court appearance. His next court date is March 9th. Allen denied Thompson bail, so keep an eye on that. Police investigating death of three-month-old boy. Dear God. We just finished reading about the death of a three-month-old girl. And now, here we are again. A three-month-old boy who was left at a daycare later died in hospital yesterday, police said. Police said a three-month-old boy was found unresponsive at a daycare yesterday. The baby's mother dropped him off to a daycare in southern New Providence around 8 a.m., police said. The daycare's director with checks found the infant appeared to be unresponsive. The infant was transported to hospital by an ambulance and was later declared dead. Police said there were no visible signs of trauma on the infant and an autopsy will be performed to determine the exact cause of death. Very shocking. My thoughts and prayers go out to the family of that infant. And now, story by Jared Higgs, assistant broadcast editor here at The Guardian. Don't be deterred in seeking care at PMH. PHA official says no one should be scared away if needing care. I'm going to leave that right there and let you all comment on that as you, as you want. Uh, nor do we need to put an extra 500 tax on every work permit upon renewal. That will go towards the repatriation bill on every nation coming here. I'm sure they will stop encouraging their people to come illegally, make them pay. Nor is it true that the Bahamas Sovereign Wealth Fund has been repealed or dissolved? I'm doing my due diligence on that right now. The official final word on that. Uh, but um, like I said, you have to do your due diligence when you hear comments like that floating around, especially on social media. And you're getting part of the, co- part of the story. So I, I can't really comment just because the standard I hold myself to, to do the proper due diligence. Because let's be honest, some of my Bahamian people, you all just lie. Forgetting, uh, no, no, you can't answer there. You almost got me, but no, that's not going to happen. No, I'm, I'm not accepting it. I'm not accepting any of these answers. 
Naughty, the government is now implementing a sugar and salt tax. Next, the government will be implementing a panties and boxers tax, man. Um, everything beat has sugar or salt or both. Yeah, that. When you lack vision, you just go to taxation. And just so you know, talking about the boss wasn't an answer, okay? All right. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of the uh, headliners and get into the uh, the buzz. All brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. And don't forget, John's got big things popping. All right, uh, next week. All right, for next week and next week only, at all John's locations: John's Plaza, Car Michael, and the flagship store over there on Rosetta. Twenty five percent off all women's items store wide. All women's items store wide at John's next week. Twenty five percent off. Sperry's, all right, 15% off all appliances and Sperry's. So all of your appliances and Sperry's, 15% off. 10% off Timberland brand items. Actually, you know what? They just called me and they said, you know what, Forget that. We'll do it from today. So from today until the 31st, a week from today until the 31st, you better get to John's. John's Plaza Carmichael and the flagship store over on Rosetta today. 25% off all women's items store wide. 15% off all appliances and Sperry's. 10% off all Timberland brand items from today until the 31st. Big John just told me that's how it's going down. Get to John's. All right? And remember, John's serving you is a pleasure. So be sure to check them out. And leave me some Sperry's and Timberlands, man, all right? I might want to do some damage myself. But the buzz. I can't tell you where to lie. The buzz, the buzz, the buzz, the buzz, the buzz, the buzz, the buzz. It continues to be. The whole situation of undocumented migrants. And I want to be as politically correct saying it. As I can. But it, it wages on. Okay? Back and forth. And wherever you go, that seems to be a topic of conversation. Now, at the end of the day, is, is this where we're at? If this is how we feel, that it's time to have this discussion, then I wait. We need to do it diplomatically. We need to bring all sides to the table. And we need to get a, get a, a hold on this, get a grip on this. And see going forward how beneficially it will be to first and foremost Bahamians moving forward, the Bahamas secondary, and then obviously to the undocumented migrants now or documented migrants from before. We need to figure out who we're going to naturalize, who we're going to document, who we're going to charge work permits for, who we're going to accept, who we're not going to accept, and we need to set up a standard. And it can't be singling out one nationality. It has to be for all and suddenly, because if you look, there are a lot of nationalities here. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying that that helps start the conversation. Because there's a lot of finger pointing, there's a lot of agitation, there's a lot of animosity, and from that you cannot get a good dialogue to get the desired effective results you want in the long run. So maybe it's time that we had that conversation. Do you think it's time we had that conversation, that diplomatic conversation, to set everything in order, how it should be moving forward? Leaving no stones unturned, dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's? and make sure that it's properly beneficial to everyone in a particular order, <laughs> starting at home first. Let me know how you think about that. All right, we'll get to the first break. Flip side of the break, we'll be going to Freeport. Grand Bahama Report. It's Tuesday, the Freeport Report coming up. We'll be checking in with Sarah Kirkby and the crew from the Grand Bahama News. And, of course, uh, we'll be chatting some more uh, as we get to the bottom of the hour. So keep it right where you got it. Still no answer yet. And uh, we'll go to the break. And if you want to call me on the break, you can. I'll, I'll take the call, you know, if you think you got the right answer. All right, keep it right. We got it. The Tuesday, January 24th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Flavor of 
alert. The Dunkin' Maple Sugar Bacon Breakfast Sandwich is the perfect blend of maple and smoked bacon in every bite. Enjoy a fluffy egg, melted Swiss cheese, and sweet caramelized maple sugar smoked bacon, all stacked on a warm, flaky croissant. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. Tap into maple flavor today at Dunkin'. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Refined style with elegant taste. The fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and heaven there everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. The fine style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy stuff. We cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on in today at John's. Where we put fashion at your feet. Is your 2023 goal to move into your own home? Well, future home owner, enjoy another payday. Build or buy a home with financing from CIBC First Caribbean, and you'll receive cash back every month for one year. A home is one of your greatest investments, so secure one soon. Visit CIBCFCIB.com forward slash homeowners payday for more info. Offer valid from January 9 through to March 31, 2023. Terms and conditions apply. Attention all KFC lovers! Are you ready to get crazy on Tuesdays? Now you can get five juicy mouth-watering pieces of KFC chicken for only $10. It's crazy! Five pieces of world-famous KFC chicken, handmade with a secret blend of 11 herbs and spices for only $10. Don't miss out! This crazy offer is only on Tuesdays and only at KFC. KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. You have to be strong in today's world. Keep your focus and up. lovers, are you ready to get crazy on Tuesdays? Now you can get five KFC chicken for only $10. It's crazy! Five pieces of world-famous KFC chicken, handmade with a secret blend of 11 herbs and spices for only $10. Don't miss out! This crazy offer is only on Tuesdays and only at KFC. KFC Nassau. It's finger-licking good. Yo, guys. Last, last. Everybody go talk breakfast. Over the Tuesday, January 24th edition of Talking Heads continues right now. Before I get down to Freeport, got a little FYI for you from KFC, man. Uh, don't forget, hungry for deals. Things get crazy at KFC on Tuesdays. Enjoy five pieces of juicy KFC fried chicken, handmade with a secret blend of 11 herbs and spices for only $10. Today's Tuesday, and it's Crazy Tuesday right there at your favorite KFC Nassau location, all right? Now, before I get into my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break and get to uh, Freeport for the Ground Bahama Report from the Freeport Report with Sarah Kirk being the crew, let's check out the phone lines real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 <laughs> FM. Who's this? Well, you wasn't patient enough. Let's go to Freeport. Sarah, what's good? What's going on? Hey, darling, I'm great. How are you? I am good, uh, all things considered. Uh, what's happening out of Freeport? <laughs> all things considered, this is true. Um, uh, so we've got a couple of stories uh, in the paper today, some good ones. Uh, well, hopefully. Uh, hopefully they're finally getting this courthouse and this building down in Eight Mile Rock sorted out. It has taken a long time. It has been through successive governments, and then we had the whole COVID and the Dorian and everything we hate to talk about because it gets too depressing. Um, so the courthouse is really hoping this will sort it out and that people won't have to come down to Freeport all the time for everything because Eight Mile Rock is a really large community and a lot of the people there need to have services that are in that area. So they really need to get this finished. So this is a story that will update you on that. 
And then also you'll see that we have a great story on the Walsam uh, Medical School. They have two uh, dozen more students that have joined them, which was, they've received their white coats, which I guess is their their doctor scrubs or however you want it, your, your white doctor's coat. And um, so these students are all here on island and this program is going really well. The benefits though also are of course the housing, the um, money they bring in from the rentals, uh, increased uh, purchases in supermarkets, everything on the island, restaurants and everything. That's all really helping us in this, and the school is growing significantly every quarter. Besides that fact, they also have the teachers as well and people coming to visit the island, gonna help us with our airport lift. So it's really great. And Wassum is kind of like this little hidden uh, school that is built uh, behind uh, a, a main area uh, by the Lakaya Circle in Freeport. And the school is absolutely amazing. It's built by local contractors here. So it's a really good story. And they had Dr. Bethel speak, um, Marcus Bethel, who's a former Senator and um, also a doctor on the island. So it's great. And they've incorporated, there's I think four Bahamians now also at the school as well learning. So it's all good news. Awesome. That is awesome. And, and like you say, it's a, it's a broad cross section of folks, men and women, internationally uh, flavored yeah. as well too, which is good. Yeah. And it brings so much and um, you could feel it like when there was a summer break, they actually left the island. So then they came back on and they're really starting to integrate within the community. Uh, that you see them also helping out. They've helped the children's home. I know they've suffered junk canoe as well. So they're becoming a real good part of our community. And, you know, it's the money that it brings in as well. People forget to look at that bigger picture of what additional companies uh, bring for us. Um, I also, if you pick up the um, the paper today, which of course, you know, we hope we do, um, that there is a great ad in there from the Port Authority today. They are looking to do a renaming initiative as part of our 50th celebrations here on the island. So I encourage everybody to look at it. And they're highlighting three significant uh, teachers or coaches in our community. Um, I can't tell you who my preference is, but I'm sure if you look at the ad, Naughty, you could probably guess who it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we also have a story about the National Youth Guard that came and trained here in Grand Bahama. They brought people from Nassau and Abaco which was great. And uh, Tristan Gibson, who's one of our writers, has a great interview with the students. They sound really excited and they're looking, uh, it's really disturbing also to help in uh, a situations like we have disaster, disaster response. So it's great that we will have these young people available to uh, help out in these situations and they're being trained for it. So that's a really um, great story. Um, and then we have two other stories. Uh, one's a little Eiffel, we try to do our Eiffels and eyesores, but the Eiffel is really great. It's a giving back from Borco, which, it, well, Buckeye, sorry. A lot of people know it as Borco here, uh, but Buckeye Bahamas, and they have been very supportive of the Children's Home. They have sponsored a child for a year, so we're encouraging people to look at that program. I know I am as part of uh, someone who supports and works for the home. And then um, a little one near and dear is the Freeport Rugby Club, football club. Uh, they're also rugby and soccer and they're having a comeback, which is great because of course, most of these places were shut down um, because of Dorian and COVID, but now they're having a resurgence. They're getting to play games again. They're traveling again, Youth International Rugby Festival, which happens in April. And we have kids that come from all over the Caribbean and it's a great tournament. You see like 400 kids out there playing rugby. So it's a great sport, gets these kids off their phones and into a real life sport. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's great for the junior portion. I want to I want to know if, if, if the uh, senior portion at the Freeport yeah. Rugby Club can cop here like the illustrious members that preceded them from the Freeport okay. Rugby Club. Now this is what I want to know. You want to know if they're if they're still playing? Yes, they're playing. They're no, 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 no. I want to know if they could cocktail like the old crew oh, yeah. from the Freeport yeah. Rugby Club. I that, 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 you know, have any doubt. They can cocktail very well. <laughs> well. That's one thing about the Grand Bahama Rugby Team. They travel well and party well wherever they go. They definitely do. And, um, yeah, their reputation proceeds. They have lofty well. standards. <laughs> they, they must attain, you know, there, Sarah. They, they got That's a lot right, to chase, exactly. not to live up to. Well, you know, it's always hard for teams that come up here because... I'm one of the loudest yellers, and I'm always screaming at Baylu or one of the other teams, like, go back to Nassau. We got this. Yeah, <laughs> after they spank we, up on you all, but I understand. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> we got to get supportive, but it's great. And there's uh, some teams that are still coming in as well, and all these teams that come from, like, Canada and Miami to play them are all great fixtures as well. So 
it's a really great um, sport that's out there, and they do a lot as well for soccer as well on the island. There's a, a youth uh, a boys team, a mixed and boys team, and a seniors team as well. So, you know, sport's all good for you all, all over your life. I personally think so. So um, I think it's great. So, yeah, that's what's going on for us in Freeport. We are looking to do some updating, um, we hope, on um, the Equinor situation. Um, we all have to say we're quite worried about that. Um, we want to see what's going on there. We are hearing good news that the extra um, rooms are happening. A uh, little faded breath on what's happening with the airport and the hotel. As soon as we know anything, we'll share. But I have to tell you, Nassau reporters from The Guardian are all over it, and we're desperately waiting to see what's going to happen for uh, GB with those two situations. Well, we'll keep an eye on it as well for you. And you got the right. platform, however you need to get it out there, we'll get it out there. And you know, it's yeah. Tuesday, so get the, the, the Guardian every Tuesday and spend the money. Yeah, and it's great. People are really starting to pick up our paper. They're sharing the stories more. And we have to thank you for that. Um, I have to say, I had a lovely call from someone last week who said how great it was to hear us on the radio and to hear the positive news coming out of Grand Bahama and how upbeat we sounded. So I just want to say thank you to John Roberts for calling in and, and telling me that. It was made my day. And uh, we thank you so much, Naughty, for supporting us here. No worries, man. My pleasure. And listen, big up to the crew over there at uh, Soyuz Fresh Market, all right? They always got the good odds, looking good. And uh, I see they're getting ready to do some things over the bridge. So I'm keeping my well, eyes it's open. Really, it's really, yeah, they are. It's really good. And let me tell you, I went to Soyuz Market the other day. They have some great cost savings. I got to tell you, that store is fantastic. We have two locations here in Grand Bahama, and they are a great store. And they also had the one, the new store they opened that's in the Lakaya area, which is across really from Taino Beach area, if you know Freeport. Um, they've got um, a great little coffee shop, pizza, and sushi made fresh every day now. There you and go. Joe, good, you're getting big up. <laughs> good stuff, man. You're doing your things, man. Well, I appreciate you, man. Uh, we got to get to the break now, Sarah, but thanks as always. Give my regards to everybody in Freeport. We'll talk to you again next Tuesday, all right? All right, darling. Stay safe. You too. Thanks as always. All right, we'll get to the second break, Mr. Producer, on the flip side of the break. You know, we'll, we'll chop it up. We'll, uh, you know, wrap up my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break, and uh, I'll check the text lines. And uh, I got some folks calling in, so... Let me see if I got a right answer. Let's get to the break. And on the flip side of the break, the Tuesday, January 24th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options. And you set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of family. I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Fidelity. We're good for you. With so much going on in the world today... Only accepting cash at your business can be risky. Let Fidelity offer you and your customers safety, convenience, and the flexibility of a fixed or mobile terminal. Take it with you, on the move and on the go, because business should never stop. For more details, speak to one of our business development officers at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit our website at fidelitygroup.com or visit us at any of our branches. Fidelity, we're good for you. Play with Island Games, we making dreams come true. Play with Island Games, we paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market, you get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games, we put in Bahamian's voice, guaranteed to play. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island games, we can make your dreams come true. We play in with island games. The maple sugar bacon breakfast sandwich is the perfect blend of maple and smoked bacon in every bite. Enjoy a fluffy egg, melted Swiss cheese, and sweet caramelized maple sugar smoked bacon, all stacked on a warm, flaky croissant. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. 
hop into maple flavor today at Dunkin'. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Yo, cast, last, last. Now everybody go talk breakfast. Talking Heads, the uh, Tuesday, January 24th edition continues right now. Let's go to the phone line. Talking Heads, go out in radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Boy, if you all can't be patient and wait, man, listen here. Bye-bye, birdie. All right. Got to remind you a little FYI. You know, I like to keep you in the know, get you in. And yes, we did have a winner, by the way. Did have a winner, by the way. Big up to uh, Big Rick was the winner called in during the break. Actually, uh, listen, callers, don't wait for the break to call in because you're like, shame, you might have the wrong answer, you know. Just fire it away. If you have it right, you get you get the hookup instantly. You get it wrong, you're gone, and call me back. It's all good. But if you didn't want to know the answer, and I was waiting for it via the phone line, and, and, and you text us, good morning, complain all you want if you put it down. I, I told you I'm not taking it by the text lines. Listen, they've been embarrassed on a video conference call by, by gas, by passing gas, either by burping or by farting during the Zoom thing, and, and, and people heard it. 48% though. That's what I'm saying. And I'd like to know out of that 48% when they said gas, because I think there was a blanket umbrella statement. Who, who, who was more, you know, the guilty party? Was it the flatulent ones or the, or the burpy ones? Because, you know, I'm just saying. Both could be rated too. Mr. Producer, you ever had, you know, drinking games when you rate your burps when you're drinking beer? Who got the loudest one? Like, oh, that was a seven. That loud and was echoed and had taste to it. That's a nine, you know? And if you ever watch Eddie Murphy, well, you know. His rites of passage as a male. When you, you were saying from like the age of 10 until adulthood. You play the fart game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me know. Chime in. But, yeah, that was the answer. Gas, burping, or, or, or farting. On the conference call or on the Zoom. See, we don't have that problem here. One thing about Peter, when he chime in there in, in the 5 o'clock hour, Mr. Producer, he makes so much noise, you don't know if he burping, farting, having a seizure, you don't know nothing. He just, noise. Then you hear him talk. All right. Here we go. A little FYI for you, like I said, courtesy of uh, the Island Game. And as you know, the Island Game, man, Always reminds you to play responsibly. But they got big things popping, man. Check the, uh, the website out, theislandgame.com. All right? Islandgame.com, theislandgame.com. See everything that's going on. And then, of course, you know, check out that sports book. To me, it's probably the best in all the land. All right? And you got uh, instant ways to play and win. All right, but do it responsibly, like I said, simply by logging on to the islandgame.com. And like I say, check out the sports book. Tons of ways to play, tons of ways to win. All right, got NFL action coming up, got NBA, college basketball, and the five o'clock hour as well, all brought to you, of course, by the Island Game. Now, today is uh, Tuesday. Like I said, some of you are still chiming in, boy. I tell you. This, this, this whole, uh, <laughs> we are really, you, you're already hot on this one. Somebody else chiming in now. Naughty, um, you got an update on the Sovereign Wealth Fund yet? I believe it's gone. Gone where? Hey, listen to this. Naughty, see that? Nobody was calling in. That's God saying you let the Texas text in. Texas are people too. Listen, text us. Let me tell you how the first year of me being on this show went. You all totally disregarded the rules of the program director and the GM about you can't text them in, you have to call in. You all just, you all just bombarded that. You all just suck your teeth at that and say, baby, we ain't playing. You all kick that down like people kicked the door down to Waggy T back in the day at the old Crystal Palace. You all remember that? Okay. So, all I'm saying to you is, since you had no regard for the rules in 2022, at least try work with them in 2023. You still get three days to text in. You only got two days you can't text in. Why the text is so, so, you are so bossy. 
Don't so gravel like shit. Jack says, I can put Sparky on y'all, you know. Don't let me put the, 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 the bucket mouth goblin on y'all, you know. Y'all stay there. I'll unleash the bucket mouth goblin on y'all. I'll let Sparky host the show for me one day. How about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy. Can you all imagine? <laughs> Mr. Producer, you shaking your head? You, is that a good shake? Is that a good shake or a bad shake? What if you bring the brown bottles? But now it's a good shake. You can need at least six of them to get through that show. It's Sparky, boy. Sparky, I hope you're doing well today. <laughs> Look at these taxes. Boy, these taxes run out now. Naughty God, no Jesus, no please. No. <laughs> Nor do we have no regard from 2023 to 2030, and Pac just said, and that's just the way it is. <laughs> well, actually, Pac sampled Bruce Horns being the range. That's just the way it is. But yeah, that was a pretty good sample. Hey, Mr. Producer, man, pull up that Bruce Hornsby if you could, please. Bruce Hornsby being the range, that's just the way it is. Yeah, man. Let me pull a page out of Langbuck. Let me play a classic. I like how, text, I like how you brought that one up, man. You know, you go to Easy Route and play the, 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 the Tupac classic. You all know. You all know Tupac got a special place in my heart, you know? But I tell you, that um, Bruce Hornsby being the range. Uh, Naughty, do you know anything about the two swimming pig interactions that are happening on supposedly protected crown land on Athol Island? Where are they getting fresh water for the animals to drink and be properly taken uh, care of? Boy, listen. Text her. I've been hearing things. And I hear, uh, you know, allegedly it falls in the uh, category of family, lovers, friends, homies, and cronies. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I will revisit some prior reports that I, that I got on this. Because obviously, people want to know, how is it that Crown Land is being used on Athol Island allegedly? For a pig operation, a swimming pig operation. Protocols being, you know, adhered to. Boy, look here. I got a friend with a boat. I know exactly who I can call. All right? Smithers! Holler at your boy. I got the KFC and the cooler full. We, we need to go on a boating excursion. Yes, indeed. And anybody else who got a boat, if y'all want to make it a date, let, let's do it. Naughty, a Sparky Yoshi show, there'd be no more Guardian. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. We know that, bro. We know that. <laughs> it might be dumb, but I'm stupid. And pick up the Sparky, but you know. No, 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 no. That's the equivalent of Kodak Black's famous Nassau video over there on PI. Let me drive the boat. 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 Didn't let him drive the boat, right? Okay. Because you know if you would have driven that boat, what would have happened? Anywho, anyhow. Mr. Producer, you got that Bruce Hornsby? All right, man. Let's uh, dig in the crates for you, man. I, I appreciate the texter who texted in and uh, reminded me, you know, about that. Naughty, let's approach the swimming pigs with a barbecue grill and some sauce and see if... You know what? Let's go to the break. I was just bigging you up for saying thanks for reminding me about that classic Bruce Hornsby. And here you come with pork on a fork. No thanks. Let's go to the break, Mr. Producer. And into the news. Bruce Hornsby taking us in. Great first hour on a Tuesday, January 24th edition of Talking Heads. We'll be talking sports after the news in the 5 o'clock hour. All you got to do is keep it right. We got it. Let's go. Bruce Hornsby. Let's get it. Classic. Just for funny sense, get a 
Say cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and they set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there were no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number, they see you as a part of the family. I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Is your 2023 goal to move into your own home? Well, future homeowner, enjoy another payday. Build or buy a home with financing from CIBC First Caribbean, and you'll receive cash back every month for one year. A home is one of your greatest investments, so secure one soon. Visit CIBCFCIB.com forward slash homeowners payday for more info. Offer valid from January 9 through to March 31, 2023. Terms and conditions apply. Play with island games, we making big play with island games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get cash in your pocket. Island games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play island games. we put in Bahamian's voice, guaranteed to play island games. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island games, we can make your dreams come true. We playing with island games. Attention all KFC lovers! Are you ready to get crazy on Tuesdays? Now you can get five juicy mouth-watering pieces of KFC chicken for only $10. It's crazy! Five pieces of world-famous KFC chicken, handmade with a secret blend of 11 herbs and spices for only $10. Don't miss out! This crazy offer is only on Tuesdays and only at KFC. KFC Nassau. It's finger-licking good. Fidelity, we're good for you. Whether your business is in store, on the go, or both, let Fidelity work with you to maximize your customers' payment options with a fixed or mobile terminal so that you never miss a sale. It's safer than cash and more convenient so that you can take your business anywhere. For details, contact a business development officer today at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport or visit our website at fidelitygroup.com. Fidelity, we're good for you. George, shoes and accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great friend for any customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on in today at John's. We'll be put fashion at your feet. Refined style with elegant taste The fine threads is your place If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist The fine threads is your place If you want to look suave and have an air everywhere you go 
Like you're supposed to be in a video Wanna step out and look great? Then find threads is your place Refined style with elegant taste Then find threads is your place Is your place Is your place Flavor alert! The Dunkin' Maple Sugar Bacon Breakfast Sandwich is the perfect blend of maple and smoked bacon in every bite. Enjoy a fluffy egg, melted Swiss cheese, and sweet caramelized maple sugar smoked bacon, all stacked on a warm, flaky croissant. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. Tap into maple flavor today at Dunkin'. The Bahamas runs on Duncan. Yo, cast, last, last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. The Tuesday, January 24th edition of Talking Heads is on and popping. Listen, man, Mr. Producer. January wasn't even entertaining 2023. Did you see this? We're on the 24th already. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, boy. This could, this, is, this is a fast year. I, yeah, you ain't entertaining 2023 at all. Slow down 2023. Slow down. Now listen here. Who's this texter? But listen. Listen, 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 listen. Naughty, no man, how dare you wear a Laker jacket? You're not worthy, no pun intended. Your card has been permanently revoked, sir. You have no shame. Sign a real Laker. P.S. And if Earl the Pearl does not chastise you, his card yet and pulled too. Uh, listen, um, I know who this is, you know. See, I've saved all your texts. I've saved all the texts. We you know who this is. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't care. The fact that I could talk about the Lakers how I do already shows me that I supersede you in Laker uh, 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 service. Laker, you know, how, how long I've been indentured to the Lakers, how long I've been supporting the Lakers, all right? My Laker legacy is a lot longer than yours. See, you want to throw Worthy in there, okay? Well, listen, brother, if you can't talk to me about Mark Landsberger, mm-hmm, yeah, 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 and Kermit Washington, yeah, you can't talk to me about them kind of Lakers, like Sven Nader, you know what I mean, and Mike McGee, yeah, yeah, you got to talk to me about those kind of Lakers, all right, because I was there when Worthy got drafted out of North Carolina, Jerry West made a great move, and James, best drop step in the world, what you talking about, I have probably forgotten more about the Lakers than you will ever Google. So I'll wear my Laker jacket where I want, when I want, how I want. And I'll chastise my Lakers as much as I want. And you, nor any other Laker, could tell me about it. Because you know why? All in there, you never said I was wrong. And exactly how I said it was going to pan out with LeBron, it's panned out. Now, let me go on record. Because I know knowledge, the number one card-carrying bronsexual in all the land, probably closely followed by this texter right here. LeBron been playing some good ball lately, their knowledge. I, I tip my hat to LeBron. You know, I tip my hat to the other Lakers who have stepped up that game. He's done a good job. I think when AD comes in, they implement, you know, Brian as the starting center, get Rui Hachimura in with that second unit or that first unit. Might be on to something there. Because nobody wants to claim it in the West outside of maybe Denver and Memphis. And after that, it's a fall off. It's a log jam. But to this texter, I would really love to see, I dare you, I double dare you. I have been initiated and brought into the Lakers by Dr. Jerry Buss himself. I'm etched. I'm good. You can't do nothing to me. You know, like you got them stalwart councils and the PIP and the notorious members and everything. And that's me with the Lakers. Can't do nothing with me. Now you can ask me to be quiet. Tell me to go in the corner. Be in one here. Be belly ache. That's fine. But you can't tell me what to wear. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. Now, just to upset you tomorrow, I can wear a Kobe jersey. 
just to upset you. <laughs> oh, you want me to remember throwback magic? Let me remember throwback magic. Let me do that one. Yes, I agree. AD is human glass. He's very brittle. I, I listen, he's brittle as all outdoors. And listen, AD is when you're hot, you're hot. When you're on, you're on. It's all good. But when you're off, you're, it, it, that's it. It's, it's, it's either feast or famine with AD due to the injuries. Real talk. Yeah. See, y'all, y'all diehard Lakers. Y'all know it's Laker objectivity. Y'all new school Lakers. Y'all bunsexuals who following. You shouldn't hear that. I can talk about but them. They disgust me with their moves. You see, I talked about Dallas yesterday, right? I'm going to talk bad about him again today. Because they got to improve. Got to get better. You got to be objective as a fan, man. You can't just wear blinders all the time and be like, oh, my team's the greatest LeBron's ever hurt. No, man. Got to have some objectivity, man. Naughty LeBron is hurting the future of the Lakers. No top draft picks. That's what I was talking about. We got no draft picks, no cap space, all of that because in his petulance, wanting to be GM, here we are. But see, the Texans don't want to address that portion of it. They just want to say, you shouldn't wear the Laker jersey, Naughty, because you got mad at LeBron. Well, <laughs> you see how I feel about that, right? Anyhow, I digress. Let's go to Today in Sports History, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Don't forget, happy hour every Monday, sorry, every Wednesday, every Friday over there at Naughty Johnny's. Wednesday and Friday, happy hour, 5 to 7 p.m. All right, great for lunch and dinner, Monday through Friday on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All right, so be sure to check them out. Give them a call, 377-7776. Well worth the trip out there to the Old Ford Shopping Plaza. All right, be sure to check them out. Big up to the big fan, Dusky. Yes, indeed. Oh, Zoo Crew. One thing about y'all, Zoo Crew, boy, y'all don't never forget me on my birthday or when the Cowboys lose. Fano, you, can, you know exactly what you can do. You can turn it sideways, shine it up real good. If you, if you smell, la, 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 all right. Don't make me go there, Fandusky. You in Dolphin Nation. You're some, you some real clowns, boy. You all just wanted big time, classy people in the loser's lounge with y'all. I totally understand. Fano, let me tell you how it is with the Cowboys and the Dolphins. You remember how the zoo used to be, right? You had VIP. Everybody wanted to be in VIP. That was, yeah, that was the who's who. That was the movers and shakers. That was all the woo. That was the woo. I remember downstairs. Waking hard to get in VIP. That's your dolphin, but you're waking hard to get in VIP. You're looking up, waking hard, looking at the Cowboys in VIP party. Have a good time. You're trying to get in. You're trying hard. You're ready to ask Brigley to get you up in VIP. <laughs> I'll beat up. <laughs> Fano, don't get me started today on the radio. For you. And no, I'm not going to be in the loser's lounge with you. Just go. Leave it. Go. Go along, so. Old dolphin fan. Don't send me no old pictures of the zoo, but welcome in VIP. My, my go from it. Let me do my job. <laughs> See why I hate dolphin fans. Oh, God. Let's uh, go to the text lines. Naughty, who will be the face of the NBA after LeBron retires? Um, listen, who's saying he's the face of the NBA right now? Let's be real. Who's saying he's the face right now? I look at the face of the NBA right now. Whew. Future's bright. You got multiple people popping up as potentially the face of the NBA. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Bigger my crew up there from Freedom Farm, Papa Becky and the crew. Boy, me, me and Papa Becky always got the worst time in on, on, on phone calls. Boy. I had eye on air. <laughs> he in class. I can hit you in a minute, Becky. Oh, God. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I say, It's a lot going on, man, especially in the NBA with the faces of the NBA. You could say Tatum in Boston. You could say John Moran in Memphis. You could say Luka Doncic in uh, Dallas. You could say Lillard in Portland to an extent. You got, some, you got, some, you got some, some faces there, and I might be missing some too, some of the younger guys. So, you, you know, think about it. I don't think there's anybody, you, of course, the Greek freak, Giannis, from Milwaukee, could be the face. Um, just going down the list. Jimmy Butler could have been, but not out here, do I don't know. <laughs> um, Steph Curry, easy option there. I mean, if, if, if he's not one already. You know, chime in, text, just let me know. That's a good question.
No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not swaying. I'll be honest with you, Dexter. I was quite highly upset the Lakers beat John Morant the other night. I was very upset. But um, don't worry about the Lakers bus. I don't fly on the Lakers bus, bro. I don't go on the Lakers bus. I fly in, in, in the private coat, in the private plane with the Lakers, man. Yeah, Rob Palinka already know that. See, this where you were on. This, this I could always see. I could always see that, uh, yeah, yeah, get, get on my level as a Laker, bro. You got a lot, to, a long way to go. All right? Yeah, just by seeing me being on the bus, the Laker bus, you know nothing. I haven't been on the Laker bus in years, bro. I might have been a teenager the last time I was on the Laker bus. I've been playing, you know, first class with the Lakers for a long time in the air. No, no, you, you might have Googled George Mikan, okay? Because if you was from George Mikan time, you would have opened with George Mikan, okay? And then I threw you for kind of a loop. When I hit you with Landsberg and Sven Nader, well, you said, okay, well, let me, let me, throw, a, let me throw another uh, 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 Euro name in there that played for the Lakers, a Scandinavian name that played for the Lakers. Let's throw Mikan in there. Okay, good. Now, whenever you're ready to talk, you know, you know, or, you know, you, you want to talk about uh, Elgin Baylor, or you want to talk about Jerry West, we could do that too. We could talk, talk about plenty of them too, man, if you want. I mean, it's not a problem. I could Google too and have conversations. But you can't do nothing but me and my Laker jersey. <laughs> nah, 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 boo, boo. <laughs> now I'm done with you. Bye now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now I got to read this one carefully. Um... Now listen here, listen, listen here, listen here. You see, you have to indulge when your sponsors text you. <laughs> you have to just laugh it off. Normally a chef come and ask my crew from John's, naughty, it was a good season for the Cowboys, man. Ain't like y'all far off. If y'all somehow could trade for Aaron Rodgers and maybe get lucky in the next two years, y'all might win a Super Bowl. This is definitely not John's, but texting you is a pleasure. But serving you definitely is. Boy, I tell you. I'll, hey, I'll hit you when I get off here, my brother. I will, I will hit you when I get off here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you what I want. Yeah, thank you, Tex, for catching up. But we all talk, already talked about Jamal Wilkes and Bob McAdoo and Mike McGee and, and that crew. Yeah. E even, even the other Laker mentioned that as well. But yeah, thank you for catching up. I appreciate you listening. Yes, indeed. But yeah, y'all text me. Let me know who you think of the face of the NBA should be, you know, post LeBron. Mr. Uh, producer, do we have anything from Pearly? Pearly? Pearly must be cooking, boy. Pearly must he get tied up by his better half. You know, that just happened. That just happened. All right, let's check out the local sports scene. All brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. It's all about that meat whopper. Be sure to check them out on that. Get it full of meat, okay? Or get it plant-based. Either way, it's waiting on you by itself. It's your favorite Burger King location for takeout, drive through and delivery with the Craven app. All right. Jazz moving to center field. Bahamian star said to be intrigued by the move story by Sheldon Longley. According to reports, uh, Bahamian superstar baseball player with the uh, Miami Marlins, Jazz Chisholm Jr., is intrigued by the move of Ma uh, Manning center field this upcoming season. Chisholm was the Marlins' everyday starter at second base in 2022 and was having a breakout second full season with the team before getting injured. He was voted into the Major League Baseball All-Star Game as a starter for the National League, but couldn't play due to injury. After acquiring reigning American League batting champion and All-Star infielder Luis Arez from the Minnesota Twins uh, for Pablo Lopez and a pair of prospect, Marlins general manager Kim Ng announced that Chisholm would be moving from the infield to play center field. Speed certainly plays a factor, and it is believed that, that Chisholm could cover a lot of ground in center field. Now, he started at shortstop in the past, but I think this move, you know, might, be, might, might make some sense. And like Pearly alluded to last week when we talked about it, it's what's best for the team. And right now, he might be the best center fielder they have. Period. Done. So, I'm going to keep an eye on that. The speed is there. And if I know Jazz, he catch everything in left, center, center, and right center. <laughs> Good arm, too. Cannon. So let's see how it goes. And um, like, like uh, Ng said, Jazz is a very unique athlete, very dynamic. So 
They're high on, on him moving there. So let's keep an eye out there. Aiden listed as day-to-day by the Suns. Heyman, big man with the uh, Phoenix Suns, DeAndre Aiden remains out of action in the NBA with uh, sitting out with what is being uh, termed as a non-COVID illness. So keep an eye on that. Sloop Sailing highlighted in a documentary, a recent documentary, up next in the uh, story by Simba French, up next in the sport of Sloop Sailing uh, in the country is the Farmer's Key Exuma Regatta in early February. With a focus on the sport, a group of persons came together and created a documentary titled How the Main Sail Sets. It premiered at uh, Fusion Superplex last Wednesday. The 80-plus minute documentary comes at a time when the government of the Bahamas is about to declare the sailing a national sport. This according to Minister of Agriculture, Marine Resources, and Family Island Affairs, Clay Sweeting. The documentary showcased the work that Bahamian boat builders and sailors put into their craft, showcasing their skills and talent at regatta time. So read more on that and see if you check out that, uh, that documentary. I want to check it out now. Always like me a good documentary. All right, Mr. Producer, let's get to the first break. Take a quick break right here on the uh, Tuesday, January 24th edition. It's the now Who's In and Who's Out, all brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. And we'll have our uh, pro picks coming up for you on the flip side of the break right here as the Tuesday, January 24th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Attention all KFC lovers! Are you ready to get crazy on Tuesdays? Now you can get five juicy mouth-watering pieces of KFC chicken for only $10. It's crazy! Five pieces of world-famous KFC chicken, handmade with a secret blend of 11 herbs and spices for only $10. Don't miss out! This crazy offer is only on Tuesdays and only at KFC. KFC Nassau. It's finger-licking good. J.S. Johnson Insurance agents are the best Reliable service We've been on the scene Protecting since 1919 J.S. Johnson Insurance has the best Always You're always covering me J.S. 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 Johnson Insurance Peace of mind so much going on in the world today, only accepting cash at your business can be risky. Let Fidelity offer you and your customers safety and the flexibility of a fixed or mobile terminal. Take it with you, on the move and on the go, because business should never stop. For more details, speak to one of our business development officers at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit our website at fidelitygroup.com or visit us at any of our branches. Alert! The Dunkin' Maple Sugar Bacon Breakfast Sandwich is the perfect blend of maple and smoked bacon in every bite. Enjoy a fluffy egg, melted Swiss cheese, and sweet caramelized maple sugar smoked bacon, all stacked on a warm, flaky croissant. Make it a combo with lightly seasoned hash browns and your favorite freshly brewed Dunkin' coffee. Tap into maple flavor today at Dunkin'. The Bahamas runs on Duncan. Refined style with elegant taste. The fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, the fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and have an air everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? The fine threads is your place. Refined style with elegant taste. The fine threads is your place. Is your place? Is your place? Yo, cast, last, last. Now everybody go talk breakfast.
Talking Heads, Guardian FM, the Tuesday, January 24th edition of Talking Heads continues right now. And uh, we got to get into the who's in and who's out segment, all brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. Be sure to check them out, both locations now. You know, the flagship store over there on Mackey and Rosetta, open until 6, and out there in the west, R&D Plaza JFK, open until 7. All right, get your gyro on, your tropical gyro on. Big up to Chef Carl and the crew. And, uh, of course, uh, where do we start? We've got uh, several things to look at. Let's... Uh, Let's look at uh, some Major League Baseball real quick. As you know, uh, they got the uh, tonight's induction at, uh, for the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame on several candidates. Several polls were done ahead of time. Who would folks like to see get in to the Hall of Fame? Manny Ramirez uh, had headed uh, all the delegates at 74%, followed by Jerry Sheffield at 69%, Alex Rodriguez 68%, Andrew Jones 68%, Billy Wagner 62%, Todd Helton, 60%. Carlos Beltran, 59%. Scott Rowland, 56%. Andy Pettit, 54%. Jeff Kent, 54%. Bobby Abreu, 30%. And Francisco Rodriguez, 28%. So we'll see who gets in tonight. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve nominees. We'll see who gets in. That's kind of tough when you look at it. Off the top, Ramirez, Sheffield, and Rodriguez, I, I, all things considered, I don't have a problem with that. Some will say character issues. Some will say prima donna. Some will say uh, juicing to the top three. You know, Andrew Jones is a decent one who did who had a great career. You know what I mean? Won some stuff with uh, with the with the Braves. Billy Wagner did his thing. Todd Helton did his thing. Beltran was solid. Pettit, the big horse for the Yankees. Mm-hmm. We'll see. See how that goes. Speaking of, uh, we got some. Uh, Issues coming out of the NBA. The Nuggets' Jamal Murray says, I know that I'm better than some of the All-Stars. And uh, he's not lacking confidence. He's not backing down. And uh, he returned after missing the entire 2021-2022 season while recovering from a torn ACL. He's averaging 18.9 points, 4.2 rebounds, and 5.9 assists per game. And I'm in a season where 44 qualifying players are averaging 20 points per game. Murray's numbers are a far cry from Western Conference All-Star status. There are at least 10 Western Conference guards who comfortably have better case for the law than Murray. So statistically, they might have him. But hey, in his mind, he's an all-star. Do you think he should be an all-star? You think he's right on that? Or you think he's just barking up, being upset? I don't know. Murray, he's big to that team. He plays well for that team as well. Some NFL news. Some stories coming out. You got uh, Brady says uh, he's retired. A lot of experts say he's going to be retired. He'll retire. But the Raiders, well, they believe they're one of about three teams that he would consider to play for in 2023. Now, according to Bleacher Report and Paul Kasabian, the Las Vegas Raiders are reportedly a potential destination for Brady. Rumors and speculation have run rampant on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback's future, and ESPN's Jeremy Fowler dropped some more information Tuesday. A few teams believe the 45-year-old impending free agent will retire, but the Raiders appear squarely in the mix if he doesn't hang it up for Fowler. Wow. So, that's interesting. But if you look at it, okay, the Raiders... Offer a lot of things that uh, Brady likes. All right? If you look at it, there's potential that Brady could be a Raider. Okay? And look at it. Look at it for what it is. He's got a great offensive line in place. Three solid wide receivers. Okay? Solid wide receivers. Now, Devontae Adams. You got Hunter Renfro coming back to play the slot and play the Edelman role. You got Hollis on the outside. In addition to that, okay, you have two good tight ends and Waller and Moreau. The offensive line is in order. Got one of the best left tackles in football, so Brady will be protected. Josh Jacobs, 
very disgruntled at the end of the season. Well, I'm out of here. Now, recently, changing his tune. I want to be back with the Raiders. Possibly he knows something we don't. McDaniel, the coach, history with uh, Brady from their years in New England and Super Bowl championships. Amir Abdullah could, could slide in and be your, your receiving back, similar to Jimmy for Brady in, in, in New England. The Raiders need to focus on, obviously, the defense that was middle of the pack. But with all of that intact and the right play calling, they could be definitely a landing spot for Brady. Naughty, this is the real Laker again. Okay, whatever. Unfortunately, the only faces the NBA can hang the league on are from Europe. Giannis, Doncic, or the Joker. The Joker was another one. Clean, no drama, healthy, and productive. The American options have all some skeletons in their closet, or that has, uh, let me get this whole text, but you text me long. Um, have skeletons in their closet, or that has fallen out of their closet, inclusive of Morant, or where they can't stay healthy or always in some drama. And Americans won't stand for the face of the league being from Europe. What, 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 what drama Morant have? So, that he likes to talk smack in the Waffle House while he's tipping people? Really? But I get your point, though. I get your point. I get your point. Get your point. So, let's have a look. I mean, back to that Brady point. I mean, that, that Raider situation is loaded for Brady. All right, we got Peter chiming in. Turn down the volume. Peter chiming in. Peter's chiming in. Turn down the volume. Peter's chiming in. Peter is in the building. I heard it. <laughs> man, listen to me, Mr. Oh, Producer, man. You should have warned me, man. You didn't turn it down. Peter, what's going on? Oh, what's happening, my man? What's happening? I'm right here on Mike McCarthy. Watch. No, no. listen, we'll talk about it in a second because I, 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 I've been more enthralled by this. We were talking about Brady Party chiming in. And I was just saying, like, like the Raiders might have the recipe to keep Brady in the league. When you look Brady? at it, you got the McDaniel connection with New England. You got the solid offensive line with possibly the best left tackle in football to keep him protected. You got Josh Jacobs that says he wants to return to the fold all of a sudden. You got Amir Abdullah, who would be the perfect third down back, a la James White. Three solid receivers to, to make up that, that pass and attack with Brady likes, Devontae Adams. You got Hollis as the number two. And you got a healthy Hunter Renfro as, as your underneath third, a la Edelman. Two good tight ends in Waller and Moreau. And that's the recipe for Brady on offense. So, it's something you got to look again. at. He says that he's retired, but there are three teams that might pique his interest. This is so Brett Farvish, but yes. <laughs> Fine. You but know, it is playing out like how far did the last couple of years bouncing from a couple of teams to a couple of teams not looking like far. Farm was, far was reality TV before reality TV was a thing. Yes, he Gross. was. Redneck Gross. chic and, and crooked <laughs> as they come. Rod is the sequel, but I, I don't know if Tom looks at his own film because if he did, he would see, dude, you're not getting the velocity in the ball you used to have. It's just not looking the same. And DBs are fast now than they ever have been. It's just, just retire. And I don't understand. Like, five years old at a party in, in Las Vegas or Tampa or something, what do you do? You know, meeting Jeff Bezos, you know, hey, it's Tom Brady, Tom, you know. Hi, like I'm thinking about coming back. So you're talking, you're 45. Yeah, I'm coming back. It's like, it's just, it's just weird to me. 45, you know, and move on, do something else in life. You could go in the booth. You could go probably coach a team. You could go own a team. You know, all these things you could do. Run for politics, for God's sake. You got a Republican candidate written all over you. Yes, you're a Trumper. You should get the nomination for the Republican Party. All there these you things go. you could do, you could travel, you could be do charity, you could come to Bahamas and play golf, you could start your own cryptocurrency, we could call it the cheater coins, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> ah boy. Hey Mr. Producer, I think we got Pearly chiming in that. Let's get Pearly in there too. But yeah, he needs to do something, Peter. Something he needs to make up his mind as to uh 
what the next step is and don't string it along. We got Pearlie in as well now. You know? Someone's in the kitchen with Pearly. Someone's in the kitchen, I know, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Pearly. Honey glazing on the air fryer. Pearly, are you in the building? I'm right here, sir. I'm right here. What were we honey glazing today, man? Actually, I'm not doing anything today. I'm not doing anything. I, did, I had a couple of uh, snappers they fried. Okay, real quick, your take. Does Brady uh, entertain the Raiders and we've discussed it before? They got a lot of pieces in place that would entertain Brady, or do you think he hangs it up? I think I think it's an opportunity for him to do something. I think they have the pieces in place. They got the tight end, they got the wide receiver, they got the running back. They just got to get the defense in order. But other than that, I think it's a good one. I, I'll go one more shot if I was him. All right. I'd rather him, than, I'd rather him there than Rodgers. Yeah, definitely. Now, some other news coming out for them. We heard that McVay, the head coach in Los Angeles for the Rams, might be thinking about a jump to the broadcast booth, says he's going to stick around, seems to be noncommittal, and here it comes. The Rams are going to be $14 million over the cap. And according to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, they got some potential trade candidates, including cornerback Jalen Ramsey. Considered to be one of the best at his position, but still has a $25.2 million salary cap hit. And he's one of five Rams players who's going to be over $20 million or more in 2023. Wide receiver Cooper Cup, $27.8 million. Defensive tackle Aaron Donald, $26 million. Pass rusher Leonard Floyd, $22 million. And quarterback Matthew Stafford, $20 million. Stafford is going to get cut. Ramsey and Floyd probably going to get traded, and Cup and Donaldson will probably rework their contract. Maybe somebody like the Cowboys or somebody wants a stud defensive tackle that's going to put them over might gamble on trading for, for Donald. But obviously Ramsey... Not trade Donald. Then Donald's not going to go in. He's going to stay there. I think it's he's Ramsey and Floyd there. who are going to get traded and, and, and Stafford gets cut. What do you guys think? And I can see Ramsey in Miami. I can live in calorie cap, salary cap space. They could get Ramsey. So I'm uh, Floyd, Leonard Floyd was drafted by the Chicago Bears. And the entire fired Chicago Bears front office from a year ago is set up, actually from the year ago and the previous regimes, the last two previous regimes of the Bears are in Atlanta. And they drafted Floyd. So I can see Floyd in Atlanta as well. Now, they, the, the, you know, the reports are saying that McVeigh is still committed to return. He's committed to return and he's not non-committed. He says he's coming back. So who knows? Now... Let's have a gander real quick at some coaching candidates. And I wanted to wait till you guys chimed in. But these are the like, latest predictions, according to Maurice Moten over there at the Bleacher Report, on the landing spots of some of the hot potential head coach candidates. Now, despite Dan Quinn having two interviews with the Cardinals, the front runner as we speak for the Cardinals job is former Colts head coach Frank Reich. Okay? So that he seems to be... He seems to be the, the, the favorite for the Arizona Cardinals job. Now, over in Carolina, I was really hoping they would have settled on Kellen Moore, got him out of Dallas, but obviously it seems to be uh, Shane Steichen. Now, they didn't have a clear-cut starting quarterback. They had a lot of issues going on, but uh, Steichen is only 37, and uh, he's called uh, plays for the Los Angeles Chargers for three, uh, for three seasons and one with the Los Angeles Chargers. And uh, two as an offensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, in those years, he helped Justin Herbert and Jalen Hurts. So now, now, you know, it slides right in there as a good fit with Sam Darnold, who ended up hot. And maybe he could, uh, you know, rejuvenate and, and, re and reclimate that career that seemed to be turning in the right direction at the end of the year. Denver Broncos, Sean Payton seems to be the choice. And they're going to break open the checkbook. So we'll see. Now, he wanted a warm-weather destination and a playoff contender. He gets none of those two in Denver, but it's a great organization that will pay him in full. Hold on. You don't know if that Denver team is the team. I think you can see a different Denver team. They weren't expected to be that bad. They were, they were considered only the quarterback away from being a contender, so I, I wouldn't sleep on them next year. And what, do you, Earl, do you think Earl, he's going to be the, the, the Russell Wilson whisperer? Earl corrected. Russell Wilson's not expected to be that bad. The, the, the defense played lights out. All right. See what Russell Wilson dropping was, passes. Right, Russell it's, was. It's right. The fact is the Denver D offense was lousy. Russell Wilson didn't. They brought him in thinking he would be the P 
piece to put them over the top, and that didn't happen this year. I don't see that happening next year. I think they'll get their act together. I think they'll be a team to reckon with in that way. I think that AFC West can be a good division next year. All right, you have Houston. And here it is for the third year in a row. David Cully, then Lovey Smith. Now the latest contender is D'Amico Ryans. Now, I don't know. Ryans has done a great job. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's the 49ers defensive coordinator, correct? He's awesome. He's awesome. So at the end of the day, he could return to the Houston Texans where he played football. You know what I mean? But would you trust that situation with, the, with, with, their, with their history with hiring minority coaches and how they've done uh, minority coaches the last two seasons? Very risky proposition there. I don't know. Well, it's also risky you know, because they hire and fire coaches. And do you want to be in, a, in an organization that can't commit to your plan as a coach? So if I was him, I would get like the, the uh, Kyle Shanahan contract, which is like six years. And if you cut me, I still get paid. Uh, my understanding is the Houston job is not attractive because they keep firing people. Lovey Smith is well liked by players. So players, you know, it's a job. It's a job, right? They got rid of Lovey Smith after one year. Same issue in Carolina. They have a guy who they were, players were playing hard for. They liked him. They get rid of him bringing in somebody else. Again, different guy. The players don't know him. Different guy in the building. It's different. It's different, but also is, hey, the last guy was successful, so if the new guy isn't, isn't successful, doesn't have that positive, they're like, well, you should have kept the last guy. So there's that. And in, like you said, in Carolina, you know, Sam Donald isn't the answer. She's not. So they have to move up to get a quarterback. Do they trade with the Bears? Do they trade with the Texans, who also need a quarterback? Do they trade the Colts in a quarterback? Well, speaking of the Colts, their candidate, according to Todd Archer, my good friend out of Dallas who covers the Cowboys, is Dan Quinn, Cowboys defensive coordinator. So it looks like they're going to try and make a move on Dan. Dan Quinn. So there you have it. One thing with Dan Quinn, you know Dan Quinn's going to bring discipline, accountability. That team is uh, going to get improved overnight. He's got pieces on offense already. So let's see. He'll get the most out of them. I am stunned that Frank Wright is with the Arizona considering him over Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn is exactly what Arizona needs, that loosey-goosey you know, quarterback does whatever the heck he wants. That means to, to tell me if they go with Frank team. Reich, though, they may make a trade with uh, Kyler Murray yeah, and, and maybe look for a different quarterback. Yeah. Now. Well, the, the issue, the issue, but the, the issue I think is this. Who's going to take on Kyler Murray? Like, you have to have a trade partner. Yeah. So who wants him? Who wouldn't take him? I could think you of, um, you, you, I could think of many no teams that would take him. Him. Somebody will take him. Who? Let's look at teams who need a quarterback, okay? With the Jets. And remember, he's got a big, fat contract. So it's you will want him, and then you can afford him. New England's not going to take him. The Jets aren't going to take him. Miami's not going to take him. Buffalo's not going to take him. So he's not going to the AFC East. How do, how do you know the Jets won't take him? Okay. What has Kyler Murray accomplished? My question is, how do you know the Jets won't take him? Because what the jet salary cap, which jet salary cap is set up, and, and how is it set up? They want a proven veteran. So Jimmy Garoppolo makes more sense to them. So does Derek Carr. Derek Carr is a perfect fit for what the Jets are doing. Strong arm, push the ball down the field, proven, proven veteran. Kyler Murray is not proven as he's not. I remember the the playoff game against the Rams. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. It was. And you got the video game issues, can't stay healthy. Plus, remember, and I'm all for, I'm a short guy, all for short guys succeeding, but he's small. And you know he's going to get hurt because he's a small guy. Same knock on the quarterback coming out of Alabama now. Small guy, 180 pounds, six foot. Small guy, you're going to get hurt. It's just, it's just you, you, it's physics. You know, you can't get hurt. So do you want that? Do you, wanna, do you think he's going to stay healthy? He's a Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson's big. True Brees is big. Kyler Murray just doesn't have the big frame. So do you want to trade for a guy to so give him draft picks and he takes on his contract and he then he gets hurt? Or you take Jimmy Garoppolo or you can get Derek Carr on the cheap because they don't want Derek Carr. Jimmy Garoppolo has already been hurt. Two serious injuries. 
Derek yeah, Howard's Jimmy, had an injury. Yeah, Everybody got a, the, the chance of getting hurt is always there. It's amazing how we all our teams are talking about Kyler Murray when we're talking about he was probably the next greatest thing since sliced bread two years ago. He had one I bad year, one injury year, and I all of a sudden he's, he's not a good quarterback. I don't know who Did the people are all you're talking about, Earl. I never endorsed Kyler Murray. I was just questioning his maybe height, you, his maybe size. Maybe Peter Raheem did not endorse Kyler Murray. I never endorsed Kyler Murray. Murray. You know, I've never been a, a fan of Kyler Murray because he grew up in the Dallas area and he said the Cowboys suck. So I have no love for Kyler Murray. <laughs> and Kyler Murray is, he's a what, 5'8"? So you tell me you're going to put in your Super Bowl. The, the Jets are built that defense is Super Bowl defense. How big, put was your, How big was Drew Brees? Here's the difference. The frame was bigger. And I'm not the only person that is. My, my Green, Mike Greenberg from ESPN said the same thing. He's like, Kyle Murray is small. The guy from Alabama is small. He's like, Drew Brees, yeah. But you said Dexter Drew Brees. Drew Brees is, he's a man. He's, he's big. He's thick. Wide frame. Same thing. With, he's 6'1", six, six but he's big. Big frame. Kyler Murray, Zach Wilson, small frame. Scott of Alabama, small frame. And remember, you got you got defensive ends out at 280 pounds, and they're running four fives. I mean, I'm five ones and four eights. So you're telling me he's gonna survive? You're gonna only duck and dodge for so long. Lamar Jackson's 211 pounds, way bigger than Kyler Murray, taller, and he gets hurt every year. Justin Fields is 230 pounds, six foot three, six foot four, and he missed games. So you're telling me all the running around Kyler Murray does? Look at Patrick Mahomes. He got his ankle rolled up on. He's gonna play because he's a soldier. But and look how big he is. It's just it's not to say there's a difference between saying that you can't play, the difference between saying and saying that the odds aren't your fear of you of you getting hurt more than anybody else. Yes, everyone gets hurt. I understand that. But how many games did Kyler Murray miss this year? How many? How many he missed, games he missed, he he missed about five games this year. Easy. Yeah. He missed, and, and, and what, he, the contract is, is a big contract, what, $35 million a year? Yeah. Listen, they got issues with that Kyler Murray. I think they might try to get rid of Kyler Murray if they take on a new coach. Now. But how are you, how, how you going to take him? See, the Dolphins were smart. The Dolphins didn't extend to him. They waited a season out. You were smart with it. Now, Tua wants to come back because the cash issues, well, we can get you for low guaranteed money because we're like, well, there's medical issues. You know, we're going to get a mess. And that's the smart thing to do. Kyle Murray had two years left on his deal. Two. He had two full, sorry. He had one full season left plus the fifth year off, $35 million a year. Just dumb. Dumb. And now you're stuck with him. Because as soon as he got his contract, what happened? He did, he did nothing. Yeah. He did, he did the Zeke Elliott. Ah. Uh, and I don't, I don't ever want to see Dallas Inc. another running back that 90 million contract like Zeke ever again, ever again, nor a quarterback for 140 million either. And I'm going to go in on Zeke because Zeke let the Cowboys down. The, the backup running back got hurt, who does a ton. And Zeke had a chance that game to be the man and played not out of his mind, but just played his ability. That's all he had to do. And he didn't. Yeah, he could have won that game Peter, by himself. Peter. Since his injury, Zeke has not been that voice out runner. Zeke has been that short game. Let me get the first down. Let me get it in a red zone running back. And those roles, he played well in the playoffs. And he played that well in the game. But his not, role is Earl, not but his, his role has changed. I'm with Earl. you, Early. He is not the same back. He's not. Earl, he does not have Zeke that capability looked, anymore. Has his looked, role has changed, Peter. Zeke, his role has changed. I agree with that because you had no choice. Zeke, I'm like, I don't see the same fire in Zeke running. I don't. Yeah, injury plays a 5 p.m. I don't see the same fire. And his play, decline in production, not his play, coincided with him getting paid. Zeke, oh my God. Zeke, I was like, Zeke, I used to think Zeke, and Marty, remember me from when we did the, uh, the, the show in the press box? I used to say, I used to thought it was crazy. Turns out you were right. I was crazy. Um, I said, Zeke could break Emmett's records. Yep. Because he was like, oh, my God, what he was doing. It's just insane what Zeke's doing. I mean, Zeke was unstopped. He was Dak's rookie year. Zeke was the offense. Yeah. Dak didn't do anything to give the ball to Zeke. Zeke was everything. He was it. Talking about Kyle, who was a whole herd. <laughs> and then he, blew, like, then he blew out his knee. But, no, then he went to Cancun, and then he blew out his knee. Running back, uh, Adrian Peterson blew out his knee. He came back in Little League in rushing. 
So I'm like, so okay. He, he, all right. So he's an exception to the rule. A lot of other running backs got him and were never the same. No, look at Todd Gurley. You had knee issues. Never was the same. He had a couple of other signed big contracts and then Bupkis right after that. Uh, right. So um, get the big money, forget it. Uh, Johnson out there with the Cardinals as well. Remember David Johnson for a couple of years was a beast in fantasy. Now, where is he? Yeah. Big money? Bye. Listen. Mail it in. Real quick before we get out of here. Purdy, now that I got you, man. What do you think of the Rui Hachimura trade out there to the Lakers, man? I like it. I like I, it. I, I like it I too. Like it. I, think I, like it. I think it's a good move. Considering, considering you ain't got much you can get, I think you got a good um, person that can come in and play and don't have to put the pressure on to be the big gun. And he could give and, you a and, and, fucking point tonight. And listen, we might have uh, an, another option to get uh, Bogdanovich as well from the, from the, from the uh, Pistons. So we get him and add that shooting as well. Now the, the, the team is starting to shape up, but the Lakers are made another trade with the Wizards on Monday. They acquired Rui Hachimura for Kendrick Nunn and three second-round picks. All right? Now, here's the deal. The immediate team for the Lakers get Davis back from a footer injury with the next, within the next week. If he can successfully return the form and stay healthy, the door opens for more player movement before the February 9th trade deadline. He's going to slide in at the small forward alongside LeBron James. Or he'll play the power forward and James will play the small either way. Um, and then I, and, the guy, the guy and then you got that Thomas Bryant guard, playing right? center is, is solid. And, uh, you know, you got, you got some options, but they like Hachimura because they believe that he'll resign with the Lakers. All right. And, um, Westbrook, He's talented and super talented. So Westbrook may be on the way out in the trade deadline as well, but I'm, I'm thinking, um, because now they, they still might have an option with the pinner as well. And Buddy Hill, if they could rekindle that with uh, with Westbrook being the piece there. That would be a great trade. So That would be a great trade. Would say you, Pearlie, I like Hachimura, man. Stretch defender, big guy, big body, shoots the three well, scores well, averaging 13 points a game in 24 minutes. If he gets started minutes, I think he can put up some crazy numbers. I, I think he's a good fit. Like I say, he's, he's not, he's not going to be the first, second, or third option. You'll be able to give us your list 13, 13 and 7 a night, 14 and 7, 14 and 8 a night. I, I like the pickup. I like the move. One thing you do, I like that. I like that. I, I like, say something else about I, the Lakers. I, I like uh, Lonnie Walker, Hachimura, and the other kid, the, the, the Murray kid, um, you know, or the Murphy kid, as well as Reeves. So I, I kind of like what they're doing. As a matter of fact, I mean, um, not not Murphy Brown. My bad, Brown. I like how Brown, Troy Brown is playing. I like how Lonnie Walker, what he offers when he's healthy, and now Hachimura as well. I, I think uh, Lakers got a lot of potential there. Thomas Bryant playing well at the center position as well. So now you got a bench like Patrick Beverly, Westbrook, Winion Gabriel, Gabriel. You know. I don't know. I, I think they might be trying to make a run. What say you, Pearly? I, I think I think the Lakers feel. Let me just get because they only really the only two games out of the six spot. They twelve back and the six spot ten back. The only two games out of the six spot and, and and two and a half out of the fourth and fifth spot. Well, so they, they take a good run. Former Lakers, good run. former Lakers head coach Pat Riley thinks the combination of James and Anthony Davis along with Hachimura now puts the Lakers in a in a position to make a championship run. And credit B has been playing some ball in the last couple of weeks. I mean, yeah, really I, I went on record and, and shouted out our boy knowledge today. You know, number one brand sexual in all the land. But um, and then you, you thirty five. You, you were very quiet in the ruckus and the fellas that tried to smart talk LeBron, young of Memphis Grizzlies, and he had to school them. No, no, listen, I have no problem with, with them popping off. I didn't get into it because I was with Shannon, number one brand sexual in the world. You know. Showing his man likery tech, you know, techniques. I didn't get in that. I, I left that alone. You know, they they was talking bad, but his man, I, I totally understand. I let him do what he had to do. I yeah, get well, in listen, that. Shannon, dog, Shannon. Shannon got championships, MVPs, everything on this belt. So I mean, come on, those do things. And and the credit with credit do. You ain't win nothing yet. You ain't do nothing yet. Hey, when you do something, start talking. Y'all talking like y'all the former, y'all the defending champ. So you've been in the championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't give them right or nothing. They, they need to humble themselves. You know, do something. Before you start popping off. You're going to get LeBron mad and lost LeBron. Still, I'm putting my head right off. I think all my Anyway, we got to get to the break. Is the news coming up. Peter, I appreciate your contributions. As always, I'll hear from you tomorrow again. 
Pearly, I appreciate you as always. And listen, you don't have a problem with me wearing my Laker Kobe Bryant 2010 championship warm-up jersey today, do you? I, I, applaud, I applaud that. I applaud that. There you go, Texter. <laughs> Pearly just listen. trumped you, you too. Anything, anything, listen, anything, Kobe or Magic, I don't care. You can wear them any day of the week. There you go. Anytime. That's why, and I can wear the Kobe jersey tomorrow. Appreciate you All both, right. man. Everybody who chimed in, great stuff today, Mr. Producer. Get us to the break. Good job, my brother. We will see you all tomorrow right Thank here you. on Talking Heads. Be good, Bahamas, Thank and if you can't be good, be good at it. Be careful. <laughs>